I'm Mohammad Taki uh, from Kargil. I am Deputy Director, District Employment Counseling Centre, Lay. Basically, I started my education from uh, this, um, from my village only, uh, at a primary school in uh, this Panikhar. So I studied there only for one year. I remember. Thereafter, I was shifted to uh, the main Kargil town uh, uh, at uh, Suru Valley Public School, and there I studied till like uh, class eight. And then owing to like uh, war like situation in 1998 and in 1999 I was shifted to Jammu for further studies and there I continued my education at a school called Tiny Tots High Secondary School Residency Road. Uh, I studied there for two years and then uh, I shifted to uh, this Ranbir High Secondary School which is a premier institution, government institution of Jammu. I completed my higher secondary from Ranbir Higher Secondary School. Thereafter, I uh, pursued law from this uh, Jammu University, the law school Jammu University. It was a five years integrated BLLB course. And after that, I pursued for this uh, civil services. And in year 2010, I completed my uh, graduation from this uh, law school. And 2011, uh, 2012 September I think I joined the services so around about in two attempts I cleared the this uh, JK civil services and uh, after that first I was posted in this um, uh, industries department as project manager and thereafter I was uh, shifted to the employment department as assistant director served in Cargill for uh, around one and a half year as assistant director of employment and there uh, thereafter I was transferred here and here in Lee I am for, like it's it has been a year now civil services basically um, I never planned my career in a serious way frankly speaking like wo youth when every youth like wo masti wala time hota to utna plan nahi kiya but fortunately, I'm here. Uh, I have never planned my career. Say like uh, class 12th, I studied medical. But there was somewhere in my mind that since uh, I had a like uh, kind of tendency, you say, or I liked humanities as a subject. That was somewhere in my mind. So uh, after clearing my that higher secondary education, I decided that I will now the further studies will I will study humanities I will not continue with my science studies so humanities when I saw to people told me that no it's good to pursue a professional course so somewhere parents or say the family friends they put in the mind of parents that you have your uh, child has to pursue a professional course somewhere so wo professional course so i decided that blb 5 years is a professional course i said to to humanities or wo professional course ka jo unka uh, condition tha wo dono fulfill karta tha so i decided i will pursue law and uh, since it's a blb course i will study humanities also so uh, then i appeared for um, that uh, law entrance i cleared it and joined it after joining law school uh, even after uh, it was a 5 years course uh, till the third year of law, there was nowhere in my mind that I'm uh, appearing for civil services. One day I saw my friend uh, in the library, he was studying like geography. I asked him why you're studying geography, a student of law, studying geography in the library, uh, the computer lab, going through maps. Then he told me that there's an example, UPSC, you appear in that you will become an ICE officer. I have my f whole of my family in the civil services, I have to do it, that's why. And then they introduced me to the civil services thing and then we sit together at a hostel. Uh, even uh, till the time of uh, this graduation, I was not serious about it. They were preparing, but I was not preparing. I said that even if I clear my law, I'll, I'm satisfied you people continue with this. 
then in the ninth sem uh, semester this uh, jkpsc uh, advertised certain posts and i appeared in a casual way and in a casual way with law as a subject in april i cleared it so somewhere in my mind it came that i appeared in a casual way cleared the prelims examination so that arose the hope in me a confidence in me that if i uh, i can pursue it in a serious way i'm going to make it so thereafter if immediately after completing my graduation i seriously pursued the preparations i decided the optionals with my friends and i seriously pursued i joined coaching classes at uh, the uh, gandhi nagar asandas i met many teachers usually that uh, teachers from delhi came to jammu for coaching i met many of them took some uh, guidance uh, from them and fortunately i met some good teachers which i can assess today because uh, one of my uh, teachers uh, gs teachers he uh, now teaches in uh, uh, the wajiram institute in delhi which is a reputed institute so it was uh, you say destiny i was fortunate enough to meet good teachers meet good friends at an appropriate time and a small success unexpected su success you say that made my mind towards this and uh, within say study of one and half year i made it as the name of my office itself suggests that this is district employment and counseling center we are uh, uh, we are related with employment and counseling our domain is employment and counseling so employment uh, we uh, we uh, i as the deputy director of employment i am the secretary of lay autonomous subordinate service selection board we do recruitment for all the district cadre vacancies in a routine way every year whenever vacancies are referred from departments to us we advertise them and uh, we take written tests we take vivas and on the basis of merit students are selected and sent to the various departments so that's one thing which we do as a routine thing regarding employment but uh, we also feel that government uh, government sector will not be able to absorb all the unemployed youths and this was uh, this was the concern uh, which lhdc also took very seriously and late dr sonam dawa when i joined here they were like um, uh, the dc office and the council office they were in a way of discussing that how to address this issue of unemployment the number of like say we, we are not able to absorb all the people in government sector so what for the rest and finally they came up with a they they came up with thing to issue this to tackle this issue of unemployment that how to address this issue and i also get into that team um, dc ma'am was there mozasa was there the council office who was there and they decided that let's skill our they were all already into it that uh, the primary thing to skill people and place them in private sector so uh, there was uh, an mou was under consideration at that time and uh, by the time i joined within a month the mou was finalized mou with a this uh, kolkata based firm that mou was intended to address the issue of unemployment by play, by skilling people and placing in the private sector and hospitality and aviation were chosen as the sector given the fact that our guys and girls are very much interested in aviation when we say air hostess they get tempted so this these were the things they took into consideration at the you say planning stage ki ye sector humko choose karna chahiye chosen the sector and done the mo and the most you say fantastic part of the mou was that the training partner gave a guarantee that after the completion of the course it is a certificate course we will place all the trainees in reputed airline uh, airline companies and five star hotels and if we are not able to place 
the candidate then we are ready to pay minimum wage to the candidate till he or she gets a job in the private sector so we thought that it's a very good deal so the, the mou execution started uh, the advertisements were made and the mobilization process started the mobilization was a little tough because it was like uh, it, the basic part of the mobilization was to change the mindset changing the mindset because people are not ready to join the private sector there's a mindset that government sector has a job security and a pension and private sector there is a preconceived notion that private sector doesn't have this job security and you say the pension or uh, pension or post retirement benefits so we advertised but the um, you say the response was not that um, good enough people took it for an ordinary uh, like course and then we went to the colleges various colleges we talked to the principals in jammu there there we attempted to change the mindset of the uh, youth mindset of the candidates they were asked that private sector will also offer you a good job job security uh, in government sector private sector also has job security if you perform well no organization will like to lose you and uh, say post retirement benefits uh, the even the government implies now plan his pension under new pension scheme invest some money in the pension that a guy or girl can do in the private sector also invest some money under pension scheme so by this way we were able to somewhat somewhat change the mindset of the candidates and ultimately we were able to make two batches now it was the time for us to test the training partner that whether whatever guarantee they have given to place the guys and girls in the private sector they are they will be able to do or not and even the so in the mobilization process itself they place some girls in uh, that's cabin crew in spicejet so somewhat we were satisfied that they have connections with the airlines uh, companies so after the start of the batch today uh, i am i'm very much satisfied that they are performing very well uh, two batches uh, 30 of 30 30 candidates 60 candidates of out of 60 candidates uh, 26 in the fourth men itself are placed in various airlines and five star hotels and some of them ha- have already joined obrai mumbai uh, this uh, rajasthan there are certain uh, hotel chains spice jet and the most satisfying part is that uh, uh, under the post placement tracking when we get into touch with them our training partner gets into touch with them we get a feedback that they are very much satisfied at their place of work getting a good salary getting a good place to live so that that's what we are doing counseling is the other work which we uh, which we do and uh, we go to uh, various government schools all over leh and the basic thing which we provide there is that information to the candidate at various stages of his life like a guy or girl is in class 8 he has to choose certain subjects and uh, after 10 he has to choose subjects and this choosing of these academic subjects uh, will determine where he will ultimately land in his career so the basic objective is to enable the students to make an informed decision regarding their career we don't force anyone to take this uh, subject or that subject we give them information that look these 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 are the career options and based on these choices you make a decision taking into account your choices your personal choices and we feel that um, this is very important because um, when i went to the rural areas for counseling uh, one day a guy asked me a question that uh, he were, whether i can become a doctor so i said what's your stream he said uh, my stream is arts so there i realized that 
this counseling is very important because this is the basic fact which the candidate should know and he doesn't have that basic information and fortunately this year we had an MOU with Lamstan for career counseling and we hope that um, given the fact that Lamstan has performed very well in this uh, chosen field which we uh, which they uh, although they although uh, they do as a philanthropic work but I have seen that they are doing it in a very professional way um, right from my days at district employment counseling center Cargill I'm in touch with them at various events and so and uh, we expect that uh, in the coming years uh, we in association with Lamstan will cover all the government schools of lay district so that no child is left without counseling so that every child is informed that these these are the career options at this this stage of his life message to message to youth although <laughs> i'm not a guru who can give a message but still based upon uh, my life experiences i can give a message that it's not only the you say the guys and girls who top the merit of your school who lands in good places or good careers at any stage of career you make a mind put some genuine efforts consistent genuine efforts i can i can not guarantee or assure but i can say that you will land wherever you intend if you put some genuine efforts at any stage of your career don't say that i have not completed my say secondary education in a desired way so i may not be able to land somewhere this is not the fact you can by putting say good efforts at any stage uh, recoup what you have not studied in 10 years for example in class say in the first year of graduation you can within six months study the whole subjects of class 10 or the whole social science of class 10 so usually i have seen uh, students who said that i have not uh, done my basic schooling in a perfect way that's why I, I may not be able to land wherever i intend so for them i'm i'm an example <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank Lamstan for making these serious efforts of counseling, career information, which they are doing for years. And I hope that these serious efforts will benefit the majority of the youths studying in Leh, studying in Kargil or any part of Ladakh. Because now under our MOU, we'll be reaching out to each and every candidate at each and every government head secondary school. Thank you.